How you doing tonight? Hey, good. How are you doing? Okay. So what's your name? My name's Johnny. And uh, who's in your arms? My name's Johnny Mitchell, and this is Brandy Rebel Jr. This so is uh, Austin, the flying lion. This is his ninth kid. Okay, we hit a flying lion is missing. Uh, what happened? Yeah, so uh, my dog, Austin, also known as the flying lion, pictured here. He got, uh, we hang out here at Danny's. This is our office where we, where we roll. And uh, we're known to, we skate and snowboard, we skate, we skate on the, uh, on the boardwalk here. And we're known all around the Venice area. And uh, Austin hangs yeah. out here along with Brandy. We post him up here at the door. Um, and you know, he's, he's checking out other, other people and greeting people as they come in. And uh, he had followed some poodles with some teens just up the sidewalk, last seen doing that. And uh, soon after I found that out, went up there to find him and he was gone. And I whistled for him, he doesn't leave. He comes, you know, he's trained. He doesn't want to leave, but uh, so I think that they, that they um, you know, got their hands on him and put him in their car and uh, left immediately because it was only a couple of minutes from the time I didn't see him to when I was going to find him. How many kids were, were they uh, with him? Uh, uh, the witness said he saw them with, it was two or three girls with a couple of guys, uh, 15 and 15 ish in age, um, with two white poodles and a pit bull. And Austin was seen following them. I believe one of the poodles was in heat because when a dog's in heat, you know, he's on it. Okay, enjoy guys. So you say that he's, he's a, Sorry. you say he's a, a celebrity dog? Yeah, Austin, uh, well, Austin and I have, Austin and I have been around the world. Uh, he stands on my arm, much like Randy's sitting, except he's uh, he's in full flats here. Let's pull up another picture. Uh, I'll show you. He stands on my arm like this, and this is how we skate and snowboard. I skate along, pop him up, he does a full 360, lands on my arm, and we skate, and also snowboard. I'll show you another one. That's at the pinnacle pose. So let's see. Here's, uh, here's the most recent. This was taken just a few days ago, the artist, uh, this this particular picture right here is actually going to go on this mural. It's right here at Danny's. He just he actually just did it today. He did. He's been he's restoring this mural. It's a 20 year old mural, and it was to that line right there, that ridge. It's right in the middle of the building, but it got a lot of graffiti, so they decided to stretch it up all the way to the top. And uh, he's been working on it for several months. His name is Rip Crump, and then, you know, he actually, he just put that up there today, just a few hours ago. Okay, so, is, is the second day has been gone? How many days? No, it happened uh, Thursday evening, December 9th at 5.45 p.m. Exactly. 5.45 p.m. And he was seen going up this sidewalk, much where, where the, that behind that dog is right now. And um, within uh, two minutes, I was up there afterward, two minutes or less, I was up there after on my bike and I zoomed all around up there. And every, everybody on that block and the end of this block knows who we are. So that's what makes me think they got in a car and left from this block because everybody knows him. If they would have seen him, they would have known what he looked like and know that he's not with me. So um, that's why I know that, that they, I'm pretty sure they left in a car. So what do you say to these people that have your dog? What do you say to them? Yeah, well, you know, I think they, I think they think that they were, uh, they thought that he was a stray, you know? They saw him following them and they reasoned to themselves that he was a stray and, uh, you know, probably had a crush on him and, you know, wanted to keep him. I would oh. too, you know? Other people say that all the time. Uh, what I say to those guys is like, hey, just bring him back, you know? We got a reward for you. You know, come bring him to anywhere in, anywhere in Venice. Uh, you don't even have to bring him to me, but you know, bring him to somebody in Venice. They'll get him to me. Um, 
the whole community loves us and knows us, knows him. Um, and you know, we're all very distraught, especially me. You know, I'm not getting much sleep. And um, oh, she you know, that's my kid. She's she's like me. She's actually eating. She's eating less. I know I could eat a little less, but she's she's not eating as much. And uh, as we make our run at night when we go home, you know, I'm riding on the bike and she's running along looking for him. She runs and stops and looks, and tries to find him. Because when when we're running down the, you know, when we do our thing at night when we're going home. She's uh, running out and attacking him from you know different sides and playing games, and so she's running and looking for him. Me too. I mean, every car I see and every dog I see, I'm looking to see if, if I can find him. So you know, just spread the word. And you guys, bring him back. You know, we'll make a party for you. Just bring him back, okay? No, uh, no harm, no foul. You bring him back. We got a reward. We'll do a whole show for you. What's There's the a flying there? lion band. We play at Danny in Malibu. Uh, when you could take a dog on Malibu Beach. Still can. Uh, there's, uh, there's a big sign. There's a big sign near Geffen's house. It says, no dogs. Nah, That's where we used to go. I'd walk dogs in the But uh, this is Austin in Malibu. Uh, he likes to chase the ball. He can find the ball anywhere. I'll, I'll even fake like I'm throwing the ball out and bury it in the sand, and he'll still find it. Wow. Or I'll throw it all the way out in the ocean as far as I can, and he'll find it when it gets back to wherever it hits the shore. Uh, let's see, what else here? Right. What's this one? This is the top of Vail Mountain. This is taken at 12,000 feet, closing day of Vail uh, in 06. And this was after we had gone to Sundance, then the X Games, then the Olympics in Italy. And this was in the spring. And uh, it was a big party on the top of the mountain. It's about 5,000 people. They set off the avalanche bombs. And uh, the day, two days before, they had done an article about us on our travels through Italy and, and the X Games in the Vale Daily, and then this picture was taken. This picture was actually in a newspaper in Nashville that went out in the Nashville Rage, which okay. is kind of like the LA Weekly. All right. Yeah, I got too, too, too much. Right. That's uh, him on the beach. Doing yeah, the that's the pinnacle pose on the beach. It's after we popped the trick. He does a full uh, 360 and lands on my arm, and then and then we carve back the other way. Let's see. There's one. This is one. Wait, wait. This one here. That's beautiful. That's the pinnacle pose, and then that's pretty cool. Got the lean on. So whatever we can do to find him. I feel bad for you, man. You know, because I've lost it, but it's not good. I appreciate it. You, know, but you have all your friends looking for it. Yeah, everybody I know, everybody's heard about it that's around here, the word's going out. So everybody around here is looking and they all know us, so but it's uh, it's it's a little more east we're concerned about if they went anywhere, you know. Okay. West of Lincoln. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, uh who we have here? Uh this is uh Eric Roberts. We got a handful of celebrity arm rides is what I call them. Check it out. That's with uh, Danny Trejo. Wow, that's a good one, man. Yeah, that one is at the... Um, Celebrity Mr. Dog. Yep. On our MySpace, I got a section. I haven't transferred it all over, but on our MySpace, I got a section called Celebrity <laughs> Arm Rides. Perfect.